So guys, it's Weatherwoods here. My name is Matthew Woods, and today I'm going to be instructing you guys on how to make your own personal anemometer at home. Now, I should just make this clear that this is one of the easiest projects to make. It's really fun, and you can really get a lot out of it. So without further ado, I'm just gonna get right into it. Okay, so for this project, you'll need three cups, one roll of tape, one pin, two straws, one hot glue gun that works, one pencil, and one pair of scissors. Okay, so once you have all those items, you are ready to go. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to need your three cups and your scissors. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut about halfway down through the cup like that. You can see that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to cut all the way around like this in a straight line. So you're basically just going to cut the cup in half. So I'll show you... That and stuff. just like that, I got these guys cut. You can see I cut the tops off. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your straws and you're basically going to cut off the tops of each of them. All right, so I got the tops of my straws cut off. So now what you're going to do is you're going to lay one of the straws down. And then what you're... Oh, my bad. <laughs> and then basically what you're going to do is you're going to take one of your straws and basically bend it in half. Okay, so once you got it bent in half like this, you're basically going... I'm going to get close to the camera. You're going to bend it down like that. And then basically what you're going to do is you're going to wrap a bunch of tape around this area. Okay, so now as you can see, I got it um, wrapped around just like this. And the reason why you're taping it around like this is because you don't want this like becoming disconnected or becoming like this or like this when it's like blowing around because this thing will be blowing around a lot since it's an anemometer. So. Okay, so here comes a little bit of the tricky part. So you're going to need your scissors again. I'm just going to lie them down here. So you're going to take this and you're going to take your other straw. And you're going to try and align this straw with one of the um, parts to this. So you kind of see how I'm doing this. Just follow what I'm doing. So the crease to this one's right here. So that's where you want to cut this one. So I would cut it. Here, just give me a second. So I would cut mine, just watch me, right there where it um, creases. So I'm just going to get rid of that other part. And there you go. So now what you do is that you want to try and connect this end with this right here. So I'm gonna use tape, so just give me a okay, second. Okay, so now I got this taped on just like that. And by the way, guys, you can use hot glue for this. So you basically plug this up and just pretend this part wasn't here. Um, you would just basically apply just a little bit of hot glue to the end of this crease and then put this on right there where it is now. You can basically do that as an alternative, but it really doesn't matter. So now basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and apply all these three cups to each of these edges and now we're gonna need our glue gun to do this um so i'll show you just okay so now i got all three of the cups connected and as you can see um you can pause this if you please uh i got all of them facing the same way on each of the straws so this one's facing right on this one this one's facing right on this one and this one's facing right on this one so you want to make sure there's a pattern you don't want there being like opposites where this one's facing this way and this one's like on this side you really don't want that you want it so that it can actually blow in the wind and measure the wind so guys now we are on to our final step this is where we need our pencil let's get rid of this we never need that we need our pencil and we need our pin so basically um, this might require a little bit more caution because pins are a little bit more dangerous. So, you're going to take your pin, this right here, and you're going to find the center of this, where I'm pointing right here, where my finger is. And you're basically going to pierce it. You want to make sure it's straight. You don't want to make sure, you don't want to do it like this, you don't want to do it like this. You want to try and make it so that it's aligned, not like this or this. So I'm just going to pierce it. You know, make sure none of your fingers are under there because you don't want to pierce yourself. That, that would not be good. So just, eh, yeah, it's a little hard. <laughs> it might be a little hard at first despite all the tape. So now I got it in like that. Now I can rotate like this, as you can see. And then you're going to take your pencil, your unsharpened pencil, and you're going to take your eraser and the sharp part of your pin, and you're going to, if you can see that, you're going to pierce it right down. You're, you're going to have to apply a little bit of pressure. Let's remove that so you can see it. So, eh. Okay, so that's basically as far as she'll go. And then you maybe want to, like, wiggle it like this, the top part like this, so that it can rotate easier. Because at first it probably will be 
a little slow when it rotates in the wind, so you might want to adjust it so that there's a little bit more space in the hole that you pierced. Okay, so now that you're done with your anemometer, you want to make sure that works. You want to perform a test trial on it. So I got my anemometer right here, as you can see. I'm just going to um, just basically blow on it a few times to make sure that it actually works. So, as you can see, let's do this. So as you can see, mine's clearly works. It blows around. It should work pretty well in the wind now. It depends on how you built yours. If you uh, if you built it correctly, it should do the same thing for yours. And if you built it correctly, congratulations, you made your first anemometer that actually works. Okay, guys, I'm going to end off this video here. I really hope you guys enjoy my little anemometer tutorial. Please do smack that like button and subscribe for more amazing videos like this. I really enjoy doing these tutorial videos with you guys. So just show me that you like these videos. And and get me to at least five likes. Five likes is really all I need. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, see you guys.